g'day salty fam. The salt water ponds still looking awesome. A little shrimp there on the on the coral. We'll jump over to my favorite angle and have a look. Oh, I can see how dark this one is compared to how light that one is. This is my favorite angle. But in last week's episode, I said this. For those that don't know, we've been battling stuff out here. We don't know. I'm sure it was copper. I dosed copper to kill diseases that I had in the past and it's leached into all my substrate and it's taken me the best part of the last four months to get it out of the system. It's been quite a bit of a bloody nightmare. If that any interest to you guys, go back and watch some of the previous videos. It has been definitely a nightmare for me. But hopefully, we're looking onwards and upwards because it's all looking quite nice now. Hopefully, I haven't just bloody jinxed myself. And sadly, that's not the first time that this has happened. I've been spending a lot of time on the pond lately. I've been really looking after it, making sure it's maintained to perfection. I've been keeping up with the dosing, the testing, everything. I haven't skipped a beat. I've been changing the socks. Everything that needs to be done, I've been doing it. And it's looking really amazing. All my carnivorous fish and the fox face are doing amazing. But the tangs, this happens. Some kind of poisoning. I'm heartbroken, guys. I don't understand. This has happened. This is the last one. And he doesn't eat any of the um, frozen food. There's no blemishes on him. His eyes are clear and there's just not a thing. He's fat. It's like he's been poisoned. Sadly, it's bloody happened again. As nice as the pond's looking, it's happened again. It's heartbreaking, Salty Fam. He just seems to act drunk. There's, there's minimal copper in the system. Parameters are perfect. I really, it's got to be ozone. I'm beyond devastated, Salty Fam. I've done all the maintenance, I've done everything. So I got my ICP results back. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So they're all, all the levels seem to be in the green. Well, they don't seem to be in the green. They are in the bloody green. Um, iodine is super high. Like that is in the red. We'll wait till we get to that. We knew like phosphates and stuff were a bit on the higher side. That's always sitting around 0.4. Copper's sitting at 0.9 which um, isn't, isn't a harmful level at all. Oh, no, not 0 0.9, 0 0.09. So yeah, their levels aren't high. Um, yeah, just iodine is super high and that won't kill fish. That just promotes algae growth. So I've come to the conclusion that it might be my bloody ozone that has been causing these problems. And I went to check it this afternoon and the settings been bumped up all the way to, um, it was running for five minutes every hour and it's been running for 15 minutes every hour. And that's way too much. And I don't know how long that's been doing that for. So, mate, it's a kind of hallelujah moment and a sad moment all at once. So I've got to try and find everybody now because I don't know where it's looking very empty. I'm guessing they're all casualties or they're as sick as the poor fox face. And the only thing now I can do is that I've removed the ozone. I haven't even set it back to being on for five minutes every hour. It's not worth it. Um, the parameters are um, really as good as they've ever been. So there's no reason, as you can tell by the corals, like there's no reason for anything to be sick. So the only thing I can do now is in the next video, you'll see me buying another fish. It'll be a test fish to put in here. And if that dies, then it's not the ozone and we have some random disease 
that doesn't show any symptoms on the fish. The, the fish's dead body looks like in fine health. Obviously fox face change color and do real random things when they're stressed. Or maybe tomorrow I'll wake up, everyone will be back out swimming about. But I wouldn't be getting my hopes up. If you enjoyed this one, please smash the like button. And if you'd like to see more, follow me on this journey and subscribe. But until next time, stay salty. You. I could pull a better cartoon out of my ass.